it's a great day for them if they can beat Everton. And of late, they have been making a habit of it. So Alan Harper, one of the substitutes for Trevor Stephen. That's the impression there with that picture that he's just about given everything that he's got to give. Stevens. Heath. Phil Neal. Claiming that he was shoved off the ball there. Bailey. Robinson couldn't keep it in. It'll be an Everton throw. Six minutes to go. Ray up. Sharp up. Heath up. Now can Harper make it? Yes, he can! 1-1. One, one. The former Liverpool man, Alan Harper, makes it 1-1 one, one, with a little over five minutes left. Touched on there by Gray, touch on there by Sharp, a flick on there by Heath. And a marvellous sight for Evertonians as it goes past Grobelar and makes it 1-1. What a story. Came here today, not thinking he'd play. Alan Irving goes out. In goes Trevor Stephen. Harper's the sub. And he gets on to really make a name for himself. And you can be sure that Graham Sharp now feels a lot happier about the situation. after that first half when Liverpool dominated it. Sunis. Kennedy, I don't think, will get it. It'll be a throw to Everton. Wax it away into the stand. They're playing time added on. Pressure on Howard Kendall in his last moments. Certainly must have been a lot down to him at half-time because he really got his team out in the second half in a totally different frame of mind. Referee looking at his watch. The final whistle. And in the end, probably the right result. Liverpool dominated the first half when Rush scored and then Harper scored in the second half when Everton came out and really showed they meant business in a competitive Merseyside final. So they come off knowing that they meet again at Wembley in three weeks' time. 1-1 one, one here today. What, though, will the answer be in the Milk Cup final? An enthralling second half and a final score then. Everton 1, Liverpool 1. That was as good as... A performance I've seen when I've been in charge of an Everton side against Liverpool up to now. Really? That second half? Yes, I feel yeah. it was, because um, we had a nil-nil draw at Anfield when I was in charge, and that is the, the only point I've taken off from up to now. Yes. So I'm delighted about that one. Naturally delighted we scored a goal as well. Indeed. But, I mean, I suppose you might say to yourself we should really have had two with a penalty. Yes, I felt in the second half it would have been an injustice if we hadn't scored. Um, and when you, you look back on the penalty miss now, we, we've lost two points. Um, and I feel that we, we possibly just had the edge today. What about that penalty? I mean, what has Graham said about it? Well, he said to me afterwards, he changed his mind, and I think anyone that takes a penalty and changes his mind, um, then I think he's in trouble. So I think that we're going to have to consider maybe changing our penalty taker. Yes. We've both got problems. I think Liverpool have got problems as well. Well, Phil Neal missed one last week, of course, yeah, that's didn't right. he? That's right. Uh, what do you, does that give you any lessons for the Milk Cup final that's coming up? Does it say anything about that Wembley game, do you think? Well, it means that we've, um, we're closer to them now than we've ever been. I mean, they're top of the league, naturally, and uh, they're a very, very good side. But we're closer to them. I think on today's performance, I think we've proved that. I think our fans can go down to London now with optimism. I certainly will. With the old Merseyside final, I can imagine you are inundated with ticket requests, aren't you? I mean, <laughs> yes. Tell me about that. Well, there's some odd ones coming in, of course. I mean, some were probably genuine, um, but we had a... We had an amazing one uh, during the week to the, to the ground. There was a letter from a, from a lady who um, said, unfortunately, she lost her husband. And when he died, he would like uh, all his belongings um, to be buried with him. 
had all his Everton belongings. All his Everton belongings, yeah. And unfortunately, she said that um, she couldn't get to Wembley because the season ticket was among them. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's a sad case if it's a true one, but uh, these are the types of letters that we're receiving at the moment. And, and you'll investi investigate that case? Oh, if it's a genuine, yes, we'll follow it up and hopefully make sure that they go to Wembley.